Hi everyone welcome to Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel, in this video, I am going to talk about how to apply for a child's passport in Canada and if you would like to know how to book an appointment online for passport apply please see the video I have added end of this video or go to my channel. Before filling up the child's passport form so please listen carefully to some very important information because it will be very helpful for you when you will fill up your child's application form. A Canadian passport is a travel document that Canadian citizens can apply for, a child's passport is valid for a maximum of five years. It's valid until it reaches its expiry date, even after the child turns 16, you can't renew a child's passport when the child turns 16, they can apply for a new adult passport. Until then, you need to apply for a new child's passport when it expires, now let's talk about who can apply for a child's passport, one of the child's parents if you're not separated or divorced. The parent who has custody of the child, if you are separated or divorced, with the correct documentation, include all documents, including any divorce judgment, about the child's custody, mobility, or access, the child's legal guardian, with the correct documentation, include all legal documents proving your legal guardianship of the child, all parents or legal guardians should sign the application form. If you don't know where the other parent or legal guardian is, so contact to Canada Passport Office. Now, let's talk about applying for an urgent and non-urgent child's passport service, for two business days or less child's passport service, go to a passport office with an urgent pickup service, walk in only, no appointments, you must provide proof that you need the passport, extra fees apply. If you need your passport within 3 to 45 business days, you can book by appointment or walk-in, you must provide proof that you need the passport, processing may take up to two weeks, plus mail time, if you need your passport in 46 business days or more, go to a regular Service Canada Centre, by appointment or walk-in, you can also apply by mail, processing may take up to 17 weeks, plus mail time, now. Let's start a child general passport application, here is a warning note for us, listen. Carefully. Any false or misleading statement with respect to this application and any supporting document, including the concealment of any material fact, may result in the refusal to issue a passport, the revocation of a currently valid passport, and or the imposition of a period of refusal of passport services, and may be grounds for criminal prosecution as per subsection 57 2. of the Criminal Code. You may type or write in capital letters using black or dark blue ink. Number one section is about child's personal information and if you have any confusion so you may also see instruction J. Enter your surname or your last name, with this information you can get your old passport or your birth certificate or any government documents, enter your given name or your first name, this information you can get your old passport or your birth certificate or any government documents as well. Please do not mistake it when you're entering your information in the application, all former surnames if you have it so then enter, otherwise leave it blank, enter your place of birth, for example, if you were born in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, China, Nepal etc. So enter your city, country, and province, state if applicable to you. This information you may also get your birth certificate, anticipated date of travel leaves as blank when you have no idea when you are going to travel or mark unknown. But, if you know your travel date so then enter your month and day, I would recommend you leave it blank because when you will submit your application then they will ask you but keep in mind what you will say at front of the officer, enter your current home address, this information you can get your driving license or picture ID or your visa bill, enter your mailing address if different from your current home address. That means if the current address or mailing address is the same so you do not need to enter it. Now, let's understand its signature of a child. Children under 16 years of age are not required to sign the application form, however, children, aged 11 to 15 are encouraged to sign this section. No one other than the child must sign in, the signature box in section 1 or in the passport issued to the child once it is received, that means if applicant is under 16 years old so leave it as blank, now, we are in section 2, information on applicant parent and other parent, see instructions. Section K, is the child currently the subject of an adoption process or partially or fully in the care of a provincial or territorial family services organization in Canada, in my case answer is no, 
are there any separation agreements, court orders or legal proceedings pertaining to the child that refer to custody, decision-making responsibilities, access, parenting time and or mobility? In my case answer is no, relationship between the applicant, parent or legal guardian, and the other. Parent or legal guardian means what is the relationship between you and the applicant, so the answer is husband and wife, enter your date of marriage date, now, understand this who will be applicant, parent or legal guardian, and other parent or legal guardian, in my case, the applicant is father because my son or daughter is not under 16 so in that case, the applicant could be father or mother, so I am putting my information first box. Remember, I am applying for my daughter or son application, in my case I will put father's information, current surname or, last name, father given name, for all former surname, if different from above, in my case answer is no, date of birth, country of birth, father's current home address, father telephone number, father email address, father signature of the applicant, enter current date. Now let's talk about the other parent or legal guardian box, I will fill up my wife's information. Mother's current surname or, last name, mother given name, all former surname, if different from above, in my case the answer is no, date of birth, country of birth, mother's current home address, mother telephone number, mother email address, mother signature of the applicant, enter date. Now, let's talk about Section 3, Previous Canadian Travel Document, see Instructions, Section L. Dot. Has a Canadian travel document, passport, certificate of identity or refugee travel document, been issued to the child in their current name? Or any other name, if you are applying first-time Canadian passport, so then your answer is no, but, if you apply for a renewal Canadian passport, so your answer will be yes, then enter your Canadian passport number and Canadian passport date of issue, next question is, would you like the previous passport to be cancelled and returned to you, so it is up to you, but I always say yes. So if you want to keep your old passport with you say mark it as a yes, yes, please return it to me. If this box is not checked, the passport will not be returned and will be securely destroyed. Now, let's talk about Section 4, Proof of Canadian Citizenship, see Instructions, Sections K and M, provide one of the documents listed below, original only, Canadian Provincial or Territorial Birth Certificate, a detailed birth certificate showing the names of the child and the parents may also serve as acceptable proof of parentage, see Instructions Section K. Enter registration number. Enter date of issue, this information you can get from the birth certificate, if you have passed. Your Canadian citizenship test so then you will get a certificate of Canadian citizenship number. Select it, certificate of Canadian citizenship, enter your certificate number, enter your date of issue or effective date of citizenship, in my case, I will select first option, now, let's talk about declaration of applicant, declaration of applicant. You have to put applicant information like in my case, I am the applicant of my son or daughter, I will put the father's information in that box. Father's surname or last name, father given name, relationship to the child is father. My son or daughter's surname or last name of the child, my son or daughter given names of child, father's signature, in this case, date, signed at. Now, let's talk about Section 6, Declaration of Guarantor, see Instructions, Section N, this section must be completed by your guarantor, here are a few instructions you should know about it, listen carefully, your guarantor can be anyone, including a family member or member of your household, although most of the guarantor section on the form can be completed by you or your guarantor. The following four fields must be completed by your guarantor, signature of guarantor, signed at. Date, I have known the applicant for, number of years, in addition, your guarantor must, write on the back of one of the passport photos I certify this to be a true likeness of, your name or the child's name, they must also sign the back of the same photo, your guarantor can't charge you money for this, now, enter your surname, last name, in passport, given names, date of birth, Canadian passport number, date of issue, date of expiry, relationship to the applicant, uncle, aunt etc. Telephone, current home address, full name of applicant means father's name, full name of the child, my son or daughter's name, number of years, in my case answer is 5 years, date, signed at city, province, last section, emergency contact information, 
enter your emergency contact information, do not leave it blank, do not enter again guarantor information in emergency contact information box. It could be your family friends or family members. But do not leave it blank, now, I am going to share with you the final information which you have to take documents with you when you are going to Canadian Passport Office. Both pages of the application form completed and signed within the last 12 months with page 2 signed and dated by the guarantor, two identical and unaltered passport photos of the child taken within the last six months, one signed by the guarantor, proof of Canadian citizenship, original only, the document will be returned to you, any valid Canadian travel document, passport, certificate of identity or refugee travel document, issued to the child, acceptable proof of parentage, c. Section K. All documents, including any divorce judgment or order, pertaining to the child that refer to custody, decision-making responsibilities, access, parenting time, and or mobility, the fee, take a visa card or debit card with you, most important wear a mask when you are ready to submit your application in person Canada Passport Office, here is some more important information for you. Every person who requests passport services must pay the applicable fee in the exact amount. Applicants who cancel their application or are refused a passport are not eligible for a refund of the passport service fee. The Passport Program, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada does not accept personal checks or payment in cash for applications submitted in Canada. Administrative fees and applicable interest will be applied to all dishonored payments. Fees are subject to change. In the end, I would like to request you please like the video and subscribe Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel and also share this video to your friends and family members for Canada Immigration Updates. Thank you, see you in the next video, take care.